Today, I want to talk to us on this topic, commissioned to heal, and really uh, bring out from the Word of God, from the Scriptures, on uh, uh, the, the importance of healings, miracles, deliverances. The Bible is so clear here. He went about preaching, he went about teaching, and he also went about healing. But I want us to understand the importance of the works that Jesus did, the healing, delivering, and miraculous works, the importance of that. It is interesting to see here that Jesus is extending this supernatural ministry to and through his 12 disciples. He calls these 12 and he says, look, I'm delegating you with authority. And what kind of authority? He says, over all demons, over all unclean spirits. I'm giving you that authority. And I'm giving you the authority to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Do these miraculous things because freely you've received, freely give it away. I mean, you've received this authority, I'm giving it to you, just give it away freely. So Jesus commissioned his 12 disciples uh, to go and do the same things that he himself was doing. This is something very significant. Why did Jesus not just engage people with words. He is the eternal word. He has now become the incarnate word. In him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Why didn't he just use wisdom and knowledge to impress his audience and just try to convince them about who he is? Uh, what was the importance that that Jesus gave to the miraculous works that he was doing in his ministry. Jesus is saying, the very works that I do bear witness of me. That's how important the works of uh, Jesus were. Yes, he went about preaching. Yes, he went about teaching. But the works that he did, he was pointing them out as saying, these are so important uh, to express, to testify, to, to witness to who I am. His works of healing, of delivering people, of working miracles. So, you know, tracking uh, all of these passages in John 5, he says, uh, my works are more important than the testimony of John the Baptist. In Matthew 11, uh, to, to allay the doubts of a prophet, he says, look at my works. In John 10, to the Jews, he says, my works are testifying that I am the Christ. In John 14, to his own disciples, he says, Look, my works are testifying that the Father and I are one. So, how important were the works, the supernatural works, to Jesus? It was more important than the testimony of John the Baptist. It was more important than his preaching and his teaching. Why? Because we saw in John 10, Jesus said, If I do not do the works, don't believe me. His works were more important than all that he preached and taught. So that's what I want to impress on your heart and mind, that the miraculous works that Jesus did was so important to him. In John 14, verse 12, he says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, talking about you and me, all believers, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. So John 14 verse 12 must be understood in the context in which it was given. And the context in which it was given was uh, his own disciples saying, uh, wondering, you know, about the Father. And he's saying, look, the works I'm doing are proof that I have been sent by the Father and the Father and I are one. And Jesus in that context is saying that believers will do the works he did and even greater works because he has gone to the Father. Why would they do that works? For the same very reason that be through the works we do, the works of Christ which we manifest in our day, in our time, would attest to who Christ is, that he is truly the Son of the living God. He is truly Christ. He is truly the one from the Father. He is truly the savior of the world. He is truly the way, the truth, and the life. So that's how important the works of the doing the works of Christ is to the church today.